Prince Edward, Duke of Kent and Strathern, was born on the 2nd of November, 1767, the fourth son and fifth child of the 15 children of King George III and Charlotte of mecklenburg strelitz Edward was first educated at home by the Reverend John Fisher, before he was educated in Lüneburg, Hanover and Switzerland. In 1785, Edward began his military training with the Hanoverian Guards. In 1790, Edward arrived back in England without permission and his father immediately sent him to serve in the 7th Regiment of Foot in Gibraltar. While in Geneva, Switzerland, Edward met Julie de Montgenet de Saint Laurent, who was his mistress from 1790 until 1818. After Edward got married in 1818, Julie moved to Paris. There was no evidence of any children born from this relationship, but several families in Canada came descent from Edward and Julie. In 1791, Edward was transferred to an army position in Canada, and Julie accompanied him. The couple were popular in Canadian society, and they remained there until 1798, when Edward was allowed to return to England. In 1802, Edward was appointed Governor General of Gibraltar. He was harsh to the army forces, and this led to serious consequences. On Christmas Day, he refused to allow the army garrison to celebrate with alcohol, and it led to bloodshed after the soldiers became mutinous. Edward was recalled to England, but retained the title of Governor-General of Gibraltar for the rest of his life. Edward was promoted to the rank of Field Marshal and was appointed Ranger Hampton Court Park. Following the death of his only legitimate niece, Princess Charlotte of Wales, in 1817, the rest of George III's unmarried sons sought out marriages. George III's daughters were too old by this point to possibly produce a child and several of his sons were already in childless marriages. Only Prince William, Prince Edward and Prince Adolphus were unwed, and all three got married in 1818. Edward broke off his relationship with Julie and focused on his new wife, Victoria of saxe coburg saalfeld whom he married on the 29th of May, 1818. Upon their marriage, Edward became a stepfather to her two children from her first marriage. They had a second ceremony on the 13th of July, 1818, at Kew Palace. They lived the first few months of marriage in Lenigan, where Victoria's son was the sovereign prince. But once Victoria became pregnant, they moved to England, where their only child was born on the 24th of May, 1819, Victoria. Edward was proud of his infant daughter and leased Woolbrook Cottage as the family's home. In early January 1820, Edward caught a cold and within days it worsened. He developed pneumonia and his condition was worsened by the doctors forcing him to undergo bleeding and cupping. Eventually he died on the 23rd of January 1820, just six days before the king died. He left very little to his wife and daughter, only debts, which his daughter paid off once she became queen.